Okay, guys, so I just watched this documentary called The Magic Pill on Netflix. It's a documentary on food. Um, I would encourage everyone, I'm going to put this video on YouTube and the website, I would encourage everyone to watch this vi this documentary. Seriously, you all need to watch it. And y'all, most of you that have been following me, you know how I am with food. That that you need to listen to your body and do what your body says. But big picture and how we got there, that documentary is dead on. And to go back to oneness, there's going to have to be a going back to a working together. That this whole system is in place, this duality and death life cycle is put in place to work together. When we started separating it all out, that's where it became a problem. And uh, that reminds me whenever I was a kid, and I'm from Wyoming, you know, and there's cattle people. That's my, my family were, were uh, cattle people. And there's always been this ongoing battle about bears and, and wolves. And the interesting thing that even as a young person, I watched this argument going on between all these people. And of course, the, the bears and the wolves would eat the cows and the cattlemen would want to kill all the bears and the, and the wolves. And so they'd win and there'd be this big old bunch of bears or a big old bunch of wolves killed or carted off. And the next thing you know, there was way too many deer and antelope. And the deer and the antelope were um, getting sick because there were too many of them. And there were too many of them for the land. And even as a young person, I looked at that balance. And I thought, well, you know, you're interfering with the balance of things. And when you interfere with the balance of things, then there's a problem. So all these deer and antelope would get sick and they'd bring in more bear. Or they'd bring in more wolves to kind of keep that down and then eventually the cattleman would be upset about the livestock being lost and there we go again round and round and round again for 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 decades i've been watching this circular moment movement and i'm watching it and i'm watching this documentary i was just amazed that it had all this information on there but if you want to know from a retired nurse retired dead person standpoint you absolutely can be completely healthy and free of illness or even having things go wrong with you like uh, um, broken arms and such. It's it's relatively simple. Uh, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to take responsibility for all of it, number one. Number two, the reason why you have those things are for two reasons. It's because of stress and it's because of the way you eat. That's it. But the, the truth of the matter is, even before I died, when I was a nurse trying to suggest to people that they change their dietary habits, uh, they just flat out didn't want to. They didn't want to. They liked the processed food. They liked the sugar. They like um, the stuff that they eat. Now, the documentary is really good about showing you how we got in this mess and how we got addicted to all of this stuff and how everything is upside down and messed up. It also explains how things should be run and how they can be run. Now, ultimately, on my, on my way to 5D, I'm past that, and I'm going to be going into the not eating phase. But if you are going into the 4D on any planet, there needs to be an understanding that in duality, in this duality game and dot life and death game, that this system is in place where everything is meant to do a certain thing and work together for the good of everything. And as you head back to oneness, you've got to understand that. You've got to understand that. And that documentary it does a better job than I will do at explaining why this is important and why we need to do it this way. And personally, I think everybody should eat whole foods. They should eat what's locally sourced and grown, or better yet, grow your own <clears throat> and grow it right. And that means the full ecosystem. It does not mean um, just have a garden. It means in order to do it, do it right, you need to have the whole system in place so that it can, all those systems uh, rely and live on each other for a reason. And that's what keeps it all going and it keeps it all healthy. 
when you interfere with those systems in those circular manners, that yin-yang balance, then things get majorly messed up. And that's what they are now. They're majorly messed up. And we just keep trying to say, I mean, I don't even, I'm 58 years old. I can't even tell you how many different diets we've been told, how many, uh, the red dye thing was hilarious. Red dye's good, bad, good, bad, eggs, eggs, good, bad, good, bad. Uh, this whole game of what's good for you and what's not good for you and how much you should eat, not. It's been interesting, but I have worked enough with, um, you know, the powers of the bee and the big systems to know who's making money with them saying what. Um, so when someone is telling you what you should be eating, then the first thing I would do is find out who's paying their paycheck and how much money they're making because of it. Um, farmers who definitely set up an ecosystem that's done properly, they're not the way the system is set up now. They're not going to be multimillionaires more than likely. But they will have the best food and they will have the healthiest food. Absolutely, without a doubt. So in, if you want to know how to live disease-free, if you want to know how to uh, live a healthy life, um, whole foods, source locally, and, and or better yet, grow your own food, raise your own food. Learn how those systems interact and, and how they keep each other going and how important they are. They just, you know, um, knocking down a whole bunch of trees and making a big old field and growing corn every year, year after year is not the best thing ever. You know, putting cows in a feedlot or pigs in a feedlot is not the best, and feeding them grain is not the best thing ever. But it's not one system or the other that the answer, that's the answer. It's going back to the way it was meant to be to begin with. And we're going to have to go back to that way. And we, we will. One way or the other, we will. And I won't tell you what that means. But one way or the other, we will go back to the way that it was on our way back out of needing to eat food altogether. <clears throat> but there will be a balancing of the way that it was as we move back out. Going down into that industrial age and the monotheistic religions is what took us to the lowest vibrations of 3D. There was a reason for it. And it was done. But that's done with. That's over with. Now we need to go back um, out of all of that. And that means stop eating all the poisons. And processed food is just flat out poison. And it is not meant for human consumption. It is not food. And if you keep growing corn on the same, the same field over and over and over without feeding it what it needs, then that corn's not going to be worth anything either. And that's not the way it was meant to be. So <clears throat> it's not just a matter of eating X amount of food. You have to eat the good versions of that kind of food. And that, for me, from my estimation, the only thing I've seen that makes that uh, work is if you can... Um, I go to the farms where I can see what they're doing. I know exactly what they're doing. I know who they're interacting, where I um, make my own food. Uh, they just yesterday morning I went out and I was out foraging. You guys really, I don't need to ever buy um, green leafy vegetables because there's so many green leafy vegetables that are available just walking around anybody's lawn or the empty lot next door. They're just everywhere. So uh, some of the other stuff I might struggle with, but I really, really, at this point in the game, if I don't know where it's coming from, if I don't know if it's in a system that's in balance, usually it'll make me sick. So <clears throat> yeah, just farmed stuff is not good enough. It needs to be a balanced farm. But I guarantee you, and there's all kinds of proof of this, and the documentary tells you a lot of it, that a lot of the problems that we have with cancer <laughs> cancer is a big one um but yeah they don't tell you that you uh, the best way of curing cancer is not chemo and radiation it's diet uh diabetes uh, type 2 diabetes type 3 now that's all diet related absolutely it's all diet related uh, a lot of the uh i think all of the heart problems that's all diet related well you know Eat good, wholesome, healthy foods in balance, coming from a system that's being run correctly in balance, and the body will 
heal itself. You won't get sick. It's only when you don't do those things right that the body can only take so much and then eventually it starts wigging out. Just like if you poured sugar in your gas tank of your car. And sometimes I wonder if people take more consideration on the gasoline they put in their car than they do the food that they eat. And our system is way more complex than that. So, yes, there's my two cents worth on food and a very strong suggestion to watch that documentary called The Magic Pill. I suggest it strongly. And it's on Netflix right now. I don't know where else that you can get it, but it certainly is on Netflix. And, uh, yeah, and how to stay completely healthy and disease-free, get rid of that pain by getting rid of uh, stress and eating right. And you got to be responsible for it. Nobody else, just you. Can't rely on what those guys are going to tell you what you should be eating. You need to investigate it yourself, learn to talk to yourself, feel yourself, and just pay attention. How did we get this stuff set up, and who was the one? Who are the people that told us these these things all for all these all this time? Who were making money in the process? Then it kind of makes sense. And uh, I don't know about you, but if somebody tells me something doesn't feel quite right, and I find out you're making millions of dollars for it, but it counters every indigenous uh, group that's ever been on the planet. <laughs> In, uh, indigenous people that don't have disease and don't have cancer and heart problems, I, I tend to go towards them. You know, I'm going to follow what they do and how they do it, how they interact with the world, rather than uh, modern civilized man that everybody's dropping like flies and have 20 meds that they're taking every day. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Goes to me. All right, guys, that's it for me tonight. And uh, yeah, huge hugs. I'll talk to you later. Love you so much. Bye now.